It was a big step in the fight against coronavirus. Houston Methodist receiving government approval for a medical procedure that could help save lives during this pandemic. Channel 2's Bill Barajas joins us live from Houston Methodist to explain how it all works. Bill? Well, Houston Methodist Hospital received approval from the FDA for what they're calling experimental treatment. That treatment involves the donation of plasma from someone who is recovering, who has recovered rather from COVID-19. The experimental therapy is on the fast track. Doctors at Houston Methodist Hospital say they started by transfusing two critically ill patients with COVID-19 convalescent plasma. And what COVID-19 convalescent plasma is, is it's plasma that's been collected from donors that previously had COVID-19 and have successfully recovered. Doctors Eric Salazar and Jim Muser say the idea is that the plasma could have life-saving antibodies, which could help an individual fight off an infecting organism. The convalescent serum therapy, as it's known, dates back more than a century. What we don't know at this point is exactly which patient uh, and which type of patient uh, this is going to help the best. But that's part of the importance of doing this type of, of study. Under the FDA guidelines, the treatment is classified as an emergency investigational new drug protocol. It requires FDA approval for each patient infused with the donated convalescent serum. Salazar says they are currently looking for plasma donors, but they need individuals who were previously infected, are recovering from COVID-19, and have been healthy for at least two weeks. This is like a regular plasma donation. And so we, the donors, have to qualify to be regular plasma donors. We have to follow the procedures that you would normally follow for any plasma donation. And that includes matching blood types and includes testing the plasma for infectious agents. And the doctors we spoke to here today say they want to remind folks that they're still in the early stages of their studies. There's still lots of data to be collected before they can figure out who this will benefit the most. Live from Houston, Methodist Hospital, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2. Bill, thank you, sir. We are following.